Puppet Warp and Content Aware Fill, both huge features for CS5, both brand new, allowing you to do things you've never been able to do before. It turns out that there's a relationship between the two features that we had no idea about. And I want to show you today just how that works. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this image and we've isolated a particular part of it. We're going to drop that into Puppet Warp. And what we can do is we can drop pins very intuitively to directly manipulate the image. So I can move this around and I can see I've pulled his arm down, I've pulled that horn over a bit. I drop it back into the image, bring the background layer forward, and I see that I've got a problem here. I, uh, I have an additional arm and additional horn there. So what am I going to do? Well, if I made a selection to copy over into a new layer and I saved that selection, what I can do is I can now load the selection and what I like to do here is just expand it a little bit, about four pixels, hit delete, and allow Content Aware Fill to go through the image and remove that part of the image from it so that when we paste in the other layer, everything is going to be fine. Now you can see this is a full resolution image and Content Aware Fill is moving quickly to replace nearly a third of the image. Once it's done so, I'll be able to just drop in my new layer and I won't have any overlapping content. So now everything looks just as it should. So it's a fantastic example of one of those hidden gems where Puppet Warp with Content Aware Fill allowed us to do something quickly and easily that we could never do before.